It's already time for some breaking news for that. We go to Chris Mortensen and Adam Schefter. What can you tell us, guys? All right, Sam, moments ago, the Cleveland Browns are going to hire Kevin Stefanski, the Vikings offensive coordinator, as their next head coach. This is a man that last year, Paul D. Podesta, the Browns' chief strategist, pushed to hire. They did not do the deal last year, opting instead for Freddie Kitchens. But they're going to hire Kevin Stefanski for the lone remaining unfilled head coaching job right now, which means that the 49ers get to keep Robert Sala and the Bills get to keep Brian Dable and the Chiefs get to keep Eric Bieniemy, and all the other finalists will not get that job. But Kevin Stefanski will be the man in Cleveland. More. I would guarantee you that this won't come out without some controversy considering the 49ers and Sala beat Stefanski and the Vikings on Saturday. Stefanski has been the longest tenured coach on that staff. He actually came to the Vikings under Brad Childress. Leslie Frazier retained him and then Mike Zimmer retained him. Pat Sherman tried to take him to the New York Giants to be the offensive coordinator. The Vikings denied it. So they hold him in high esteem. And now it's a matter of him being able to put it together for the Cleveland Browns and quarterback Baker Mayfield. And Sam, keep in mind that the Browns put in yesterday to interview the Eagles executive Andrew Berry for the general manager opening as well. That could be a pairing in Cleveland, Sam. All right. Thanks, guys. We're starting out strong today. I mean, look, this is a guy in Minnesota who was really well liked by players. Smart guy, went to Penn, has been there since 2006 and, and really worked his way up the ranks. Matt, what's your reaction to hearing this hire? Well, to me, it's a you know, I guess I hear what Mort's saying. It's a little surprising after you watch the game yesterday where Minnesota's offense really just looked uh, out of sorts and didn't really have answers for San Francisco's defense. And you're going up against one of the other candidates. But I would also agree that Kevin Stefanski's reputation with quarterbacks is very strong. I've spent time with him. I've listened to him talk. I've listened to how he coaches. It's uh, it is impressive. And so when you look at some hiring someone like this, I think what you're saying is, hey, we want you to fix our offense. We want to know what your vision is for Baker Mayfield, our quarterback. And uh, to me, that's essentially why you make a hire like that. Yeah, but I, I look at it this way. Number one, this hire is not a good hire. This is a fantastic hire. His reputation is as a leader of men. It's not just about a quarterback fixer guy or anything else. I think this is a, a young superstar and that we're going to see. Look, his thing, could this be the next Sean Payton? We're going to find out. I think it's a great hire and you're right, Baker Mayfield's going to benefit. So is Odell Beckham. So is the defense, Miles Garrett and all that. How about the running I, game? I'm excited How about, the about game? it. The running game, this guy knows about what it takes to play in the league. I'm excited for the Cleveland Browns Cook, with this hire. Cook became a star under this guy in terms of that, in that system and running the football and establishing the running game. I can't wait to see what those running backs in Cleveland can do. Chubb, great running personnel in Cleveland, what he can do and establish that. Maybe the focus now is not Baker Mayfield. It's more on the run game and sort of just feeding Baker Mayfield and being the quarterback he wants him to be. Uh, listen, I'm a little bit more guarded, not about the hire, just about the functionality of the organization because I know it's breaking news, but I feel like it's news every year at this time. They're hiring somebody. <laughs> We're fair. getting excited. We're talking about the new acquisitions, and then all of a sudden, it's a reboot. So I, I, I think hopefully uh, the new GM that gets hired there, uh, the people in charge of football ops are, are able to get a little time and build a, uh, build a team because otherwise, what is this, five or six now in, in the last seven or eight years? Uh, but we've seen glimpses of it. I mean, we saw them just absolutely spank the Baltimore Ravens this year, who yeah. maybe were the best team in football during the regular season. We saw the Cleveland Browns come out and really just put a whooping on them. And so I think that there's some people that think they're not far. They just need to find an identity, like you're saying, have a leadership vision, and then make it happen. Yeah, one thing we can't argue about is the talent. This, yeah. this is one of the most talented rosters they just got to mold it together that and word? if they do that they get it uh, fans deserve it too absolutely yeah. Yeah. and it, one of the greatest fan bases in uh, the national football I don't know if I missed it do we know years yet because I feel like that's really the most important thing when you look at this contract for them to get some consistency I'm told we don't know yet that's going to be so important especially with guys like Matt Rule getting long-term deals with long-term commitment from the front office we'll see if Kevin Stefanski gets that in Cleveland so what you're saying is you're not really to, ready to crown him the next Sean Payton yeah, listen, just quite hell, yet. I'm, I'm, not yet I'm rooting for him but there's a lot of coaches that are still getting paid by the Browns right now that is a true, of, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, don't think Lincoln, Lincoln, I was going to say I knew one who's getting paid yeah. by the Bills for a while too. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.